about 39 months ago. The idea of building a special needs park. A group of us talked it through. So what does this mean? Let's go see if others have been built. We traveled the country. We talked to the people from around the world and found it had never been done before. Since that time, hundreds of people, thousands of people, have come together in a passionate way to make this day possible. This has never been done before. So we knew we had to get outside the box. We knew we had to raise a lot of money to make it happen. And we did that. We have raised almost $30 million of our $35 million goal as of today. And everybody has participated. I want to thank Penny Watson. Penny is a 78-year-old woman who sent me a, a letter a year ago. She's on Social Security. She wrote me a check for $5 and said, Mr. Hartman, can you hold it for two months because my budget won't let you be able to cash it until a couple months from now. I want to thank Ms. Dakota Barrett, age 11, who brought me $8.56 because she sold her rock collection to support Morgan's Wonderland. I want to thank all the foundations, the individuals, the corporations who came together to make this happen. I want to thank the city of San Antonio, the state of Texas, who understood and got behind this project very early. Ladies and gentlemen, the time has come for an ultra accessible family fun park. The time has come for a place where everybody, everybody can play. You see, at Morgan's Wonderland, there are no barriers. At Morgan's Wonderland, there are no economic barriers. Those who have special needs will always get in for free. And the reason for that is because so many families with special needs individuals have so many costs to deal with between therapists and doctors it's time we give them a break and let them enjoy a park like Morgan's Wonderland. Anyone accompanying someone to Morgan's Wonderland will only pay five dollars. And we welcome everyone to be a participant in this park. Morgan's Wonderland is a park of inclusion. Everyone is welcome. Whether you have special needs or not, everyone here plays together. Now since our soft opening on March the 3rd, I have had the opportunity to read so many emails and letters, hundreds of them, telling me about how Morgan's Wonderland has changed the lives of so many people in such a short period of time. One of our first guests after we opened on March the 3rd was John David Ware. John was born with a brain disorder. He was non-responsive. He was unalert. His parents, Jason and Amy, brought him to Morgan's Wonderland. I had the opportunity to meet him. He was responsive. He was alert. He had fun. He smiled at Morgan's Wonderland and all that he could do. But on March 14th, John David passed away, but he had the opportunity to come to Morgan's Wonderland, and in talking with his parents, it made a real difference in his life, and his short life, and the memories that have been left for him to have been able to participate in what Morgan's Wonderland has to offer. We give our sincere condolences to the Ware family. The entrance and Morgan's Wonderland has been absolutely incredible. During our soft opening, we saw three times as many people as we had projected. 
Over 150,000 people have become unique visitors to the website. Over 100 countries have requested information. Over 7,600 different cities have wanted to know more about Morgan's Wonderland. 60% of the people who come and ask for information about Morgan's Wonderland do not even live in this region. This is a regional, statewide, national, worldwide beginning of something totally new. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this may be the first ultra accessible part, but I guarantee you it's not the last. that made this happen, but none of this would have happened without the inspiration of a very special young lady, Morgan Hartman. <laughs> Morgan is someone who always has a smile on her face, always willing to give you hugs, has unconditional love. Ladies and gentlemen, Morgan. Thank you, Morgan, for opening the eyes of your parents all your great attitude, you have done so much for so many people. I want to thank her mother for being a great supporter. I want to thank my family, my brothers, my sister-in-law, so many people who are here today who have been a support behind Morgan, behind us to make this happen. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the time has come for Morgan's Wonderland. The time has come for Morgan's Wonderland, and we love you, Morgan. So ladies and gentlemen, enjoy yourself today. Enjoy the park. Please come back often. And continue to work together to work with us to spread the good things about the special needs individuals who bring so much to our lives, to our community, and to this world. Because remember, together, we can make a difference. <laughs> congressman from this district where Morgan's Wonderland is located, a person who is a champion of the underdog, the underprivileged, someone who has always been there to help bring about the success of Morgan's Wonderland, and that is my good friend, this community's friend, Congressman Charlie Gonzalez.